Hi everyone, this is Amit Narula. This is Sonia. We are going to create a special video for you related to IELTS speaking task 1 introductory questions. In which we are trying to give you some expected introductory questions that are going to come to the coming exams. We have tried to give you some special vocabulary, some new great ideas where you can get some new uh, answers. Uh, the uh, specific वही answers ना हो जो सबके repeated answers होते हैं। इसके अलावा हमने इसके text भी आपको दे दिए हैं और इसको audio format में भी आप सुन सकते हैं because सुनते समय कुछ fillers कुछ uh, disclosures साथ में लगाने होते हैं where you can make some good style तो इसको सुनते सुनते आपके अंदर वो एक style भी एक pronunciation भी automatically आ जाएगी इसलिए हमने ये video बनाने की कोशिश की है hope you will like this video so let's start the first question of introductory IELTS speaking hi I would like to ask you some introductory questions are you ready for the same yeah I'm okay ready. my first topic for you headphones do you use headphones? Uh, yeah, actually I use headphones. I usually use them mainly for listening to my music, audiobooks, or whenever I am on the phone call in a crowded places, I, look, I like to use my headphones on that time. Okay. What type of headphones do you use? Um, I like to use uh, mostly wireless headphones, which I just bought from uh, Amazon. Actually, it is a Sony wireless headphones. Uh, you know, these are very convenient as I can keep my phone in my bag and also I can keep my hands free. I also don't have to worry about the wires entangling when I use some wired headphones. So that's why I prefer these type of headphones. When would you use headphones? Actually, I like to use headphones for listening to music as I said earlier when I am on a bus or on my way to work I also use them while working out at the gym sometimes when I have an important assignment I use them to concentrate on my work and uh, which cannot be get distracted from my work okay in what conditions you would not use headphones actually I don't prefer to use my headphones especially when I am driving a car or a bike or my motorcycle you know it blocks out from my hearing senses and it can be distracting for me I also don't use my headphones when I am sitting with my friends my family I think it's rude to use them while interacting with people and uh, you know I need full attention to talk with them so I don't want to use my headphones at that time uh, move to the next topic that is car car trip right my first topic for you do you like to travel by car yeah actually I like to travel by car you know I find it very convenient and it is also time saving as comparing to taking the buses I have a scooter for me uh, but I prefer taking the car especially during not on the summer days so I prefer to uh, go one place to another place by car. When do you travel by car? Um, I like to travel by car when I am going to places in my town or my nearby cities. Uh, but for long journeys, I prefer to train as comparing to car. The roads in many areas of my country are actually not in good condition. So sometimes car trips for long journeys are not safe and it is also uncomfortable. So for long journeys, I prefer trains, but for short journeys, I prefer car. Hmm. Where is the farthest place you have traveled by car? Um, yet I remember the farthest place I have been to by car is uh, Jaipur, actually, the Rajasthan. It is. It was a very last minute trip as my grandfather got very sick and we couldn't find any train tickets. So my father and I took a uh, driving the car took my car and uh, reached there in about 12 hours so it was the farthest place where i traveled by car okay uh, my last question for this topic do you like to sit in the back or front when traveling by car i like to sit in front actually uh, you know uh, either driving the car in the passenger seat the front seat has a very better view and i like to uh, i like to keep a watch on a traffic 
even when I am not driving, I feel in control that I am sitting in the front and I like it very much. Okay. Uh, next topic is relax. What do you do to relax? Well, uh, there are ample of things I like to do for my relaxation. Usually, I love to listen to music to rejuvenate my mind. But sometimes, I like to spend time with my family and my friends. Do you think doing sports is a good way to relax? Definitely, yeah. A sportsman always stay calm and motivate. Some people spend like to play sports when they feel anxious and they they like to play sports and they feel relaxed okay do you think vacation is a good time to relax yes of course people get enough time to rejuvenate their mind some people make a plan to go outside from their city and state or to get explore some more new things so definitely vacation is a very good time to relax your mind good do you think students need more relaxing time yeah as students have a lot of pressure of getting higher scores in the examinations they have to study hard and to concentrate on their studies they need to relax their mind how deep they would feel calm that much deep they can focus on their studies i personally believe on this okay let's move to the next topic special costumes do you try any spell costumes when you were young yeah actually uh, our school always organized a lot of fancy dress competitions and i took part in many of them i remember when i was in fourth class i dressed like a bird and uh, everyone praised me a lot on that time do you like to wear special costumes yeah you know we wear dresses according to the time and occasion such as you know weddings festivals and some special traditional costumes and on regular days we wear formal and casual dresses special outfits gives us a different look that can everyone attract eyes so that's why i like to wear special costumes on some special occasions hmm when was the last time you wore special costumes um as i remember uh, i went to kerala last month to attend my friend's wedding it was a south indian wedding so all of us had to wear traditional south indian dresses so on that occasion i wore a unique traditional costumes it is especially kerala traditional costumes and you know i like it very much hmm. did you ever buy special costumes as i said earlier i went to kerala to attend my friend's wedding so i bought a south indian dress for the wedding and it was amazing experience good uh next topic is wallet do you use a wallet yeah um i use a wallet every day to carry my credit cards cash and any important receipts or documents mm -hmm. actually carrying loose loose cash and cards in the pocket or directly in a bag it's really not safe a wallet also helps to protect our valuables from getting wet in the case of it if it rains hmm Have you ever lost a wallet? Yeah. Um yeah, I one one time I lost my wallet on the bus. Um I was going to college and paid for my bus ticket, but when I got off the bus, I realized I didn't have my wallet. So I tried to chase after the bus but was not able to catch up. So on that moment I lost my wallet. Have you ever sent a wallet to someone as a gift? Yeah. Actually I gifted my father a wallet on his 40th birthday. I have seen using the same wallet for years but it uh, which is actually uh, very uh, torn it was very old and the stitching was also coming apart I knew he would never buy it for himself unless it was completely unusable okay. so I decided to buy a wallet for him he was very happy when he saw my gift and still he uses the same wallet Do most of your friends use a wallet? Yeah, actually most of my friends use the wallet. Uh it's a part of everyone's today's routine in life and they use their wallet for their daily purposes. My next topic is primary school. What did you like the most when you were in primary school? Actually, I enjoyed everything about my primary school. 
I loved my classmates, my teachers, uh, my friends. Mostly the time which I spent with my friends in my playground or uh, on the recess time. I really had a firm, wonderful, lovely memories of my primary school days, and I really treasure them. How did you go to your primary school? You know, uh, more often than not, I just went to school on foot because uh, the school was just a stone throw away mm. from my house. Uh, the distance was just too convenient even. I had a lot of instances when I went to school late because of my lethargicness. Okay. How do you like your primary school? Uh, as I said earlier, I love everything about my primary school. That's where I started to acquire education. And more importantly, I gained so many friends and eventually which becomes my lifetime friends and even I get in touch with them till now. Okay. What did you do in your leisure time in your primary school? Um, I consider myself as a very hyperactive child. I was running around the school's playground with my friends and uh, I spent time with the sliding, swinging, climbing on the monkey bars. Uh, and most importantly, uh, uh, playing with my friends. Remembering those passing days at this very moment is really a bittersweet moment for me. I love it. Let's move to the next topic. Shoes. Do you like shoes? Yeah, actually, uh, I believe that shoes convey a lot about person and it makes person's personality. They tell about the financial status, their mindset and many more. I like my shoes always to be on the point. I have been captivated my shoes always be in ready form and I love buying different type of shoes every time. Okay. How frequently do you buy shoes? Um, I'm not a frequent shopper. I shop occasionally, I think maybe once in a six months. Nevertheless, whenever I do, I make sure to invest in a good pair of shoes. Sometimes, I even ending up buying two pair of shoes if I find them fashionable and within a budget. Do you like wearing comfortable shoes or good looking shoes? I like wearing shoes that are comfortable as well as good looking. Appearance is the first thing I look for when I'm buying shoes. I keep in my eye on color, design, details and which completely outfits me. However, comfort is also important to me and I like to buy both shoes which are comfortable as well as good looking. What is your favorite type of shoes? Uh, if I choose flats, flats are my favorite one. They are versatile. I can pair them with any outfit and still it looks classy. They can be both comfortable and glamorous. I mostly have flats shoes type of shoes in my collection. However, at parties or any event, I prefer to wear my heels. You know, they work well with the glamorous outfits. Why do some people have too many shoes? Well, there could be a various reasons, I think. Some people tend to buy shoes whenever they find them on sale. They get swayed away uh, with the final decisions to buying whatever the pair they want to cheap mm. or one more consider uh, that one may be that their old pairs are getting uh, not comfortable as comparing to the new one thus shoes stack up in their houses and they always keen interested to buy new shoes have you ever bought shoes online um i have never purchased shoes online my sister had got once for herself which was neither of good quality and nor even a good fit. Since after that incident, I refrain from buying shoes online without through research. I have rarely seen people sharing good feedback about their shoes purchased online. So I prefer buying shoes after trying them on the shop, local shops. Okay. Are people willing to buy expensive shoes? Yeah, I suppose yes. Wealthy people often buying prefer to buy expensive shoes. Most people prefer possessing better quality shoes than the cheap quality ones. Even if they are a little pricey, they prefer to buy expensive shoes to show off or even for their comfortability. Good. 
move to the next topic public gardens and parks would you like to play in the public gardens or park yeah definitely i would like to play in the public park because i love playing outdoor sports like football cricket etc also i love doing yoga and jogging so i would say a public park is the best place for these type of activities what do you like to do when visiting a park i can say i do yoga jogging meditation and playing some games sometimes i like to visit gardens to hang out with my best friends i don't like to do such of these things i just want to uh, chit chat with them how have parks changed today as compared to the time when you were a kid in recent years parks have developed immensely in term of facilities i can say now most of the parks have different sections and equipments for different age groups such as swings for kids sitting and gymming machines for adults apart from this every park has basic facilities like a water cooler and a washroom nowadays which is very very important would you prefer to play in a personal garden or a public garden um well to be honest i it doesn't matter for me as long as i can do activities like yoga and jogging however i would say being a personal garden is not feasible and affordable for everyone so i would prefer a public garden the most do you like holidays and why yeah of course i love Uh, to do something on the holidays because it's a great chance for me to have a short break after working hard days do you prefer to travel or stay at home during holidays periods um actually i would rather say at ho- stay at home during the holidays period because it is immensely stressful and uncomfortable to deal with full hordes of people the crowded noise and expensive services at tourist destination sometimes for a short holidays i prefer to stay at home what do most people do during their holidays in your country well most of the people often enjoy the holidays with their kids by going to cinema i prefer to going to water park in summer days and then having home cooked food together they love these things when do you prefer to take your holidays why i really like to take my holiday by traveling to far off destination because the weather is so cool there and in the season i can get away from all of the sightseeing and which refresh my mind why are holidays important to you i can say holidays is a perfect time for recharging my batteries even everyone's batteries after a year full of challenges and obstacles having some me time spending time with me and planning for the upcoming years i think holidays are very important for everyone hmm. if you could take a holiday anywhere in the world where would you like to go if the choice is in my hands i am airing airing for traveling to switzerland on christmas vacation because the weather is neither too cold and not too hot there and there i can contemplate the picturesque view and the sceneries so i really like to go there if i get a chance what do you do in your holidays Sometimes I travel to broaden my horizons to admire the beauty of nature and to uh, you know plunge myself into the picturesque landscapes in the other regions of my country every now and then I just stay at home with my family and have a little time together to celebrate the holidays uh next topic is barbecue do indian people like barbecue yeah i personally feel indian people love barbecue Traditionally in India barbecue is cooked in a tandoor which is a cylindrical clay oven heated and charcoal or wood Actually it gives the food a smoky flavor Mostly restaurants have a big tandoors and a home People use a small tandoor or a grill it is very popular actually in North India What kind of food do you like to eat for barbecue uh you know tandoori chicken is the most favorite barbecue food but because being as vegetarian i love uh, paneer tikka uh basically uh, i also like naan which is a like a grilled flat bread that is also made by sticking the dough directly into the walls of the hot clay oven people love uh, to eat tandoori naans tandoori chapatis and these type of things are a daily routine diet of north indian peoples 
Would you like to have a barbecue with your family or with your friends? I would like to have a barbecue with both, as well as family, as well as friends. I'm very close with my family, and most of my friends know my parents and siblings, so we eat together. Did you have barbecue when you were a child? When I was a child, we didn't cook barbecue at home, as we didn't have a tandoor or a grill. However, I remember eating it at restaurants and getting take. out from nearby food vendors so uh, i don't cook at home but yes we eat sometime from outside so uh, that is the end of uh, this session i hope you learn a lot while uh, watching this video i recommend you to listen this video once or twice so that a new words or uh, new vocabulary with new ideas can fit in your mind so that is the end of this session thank you very much to be the part of this wait for the next session with the next 10 introductory questions thank you from amit narula and sony sony thank you